Hey friends! So I just wanted to express some feelings I've been feeling lately because the way I used to deal with them, even not even a couple years back, maybe even a year and a half back, I wish I would have had this mindset then, but again, it's all a learning process, right? I mean, all of it is meant to be and in place and it's beautiful and it flows if you allow it to. And I never had that perception kind of um, given to me in any other form than my mother. My mother always preached, um, you know, she always told me to be very positive about every situation and that life is a play. She told me that since I was in elementary school, you know, and it's just, it's so true looking back at it now. And I just want to share this because, again, I mean, if anyone can happen to relate to this, which I'm sure a lot of us can because I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, like, I don't know how old you are, but I don't know if you have your shit together. I know a lot of us don't. And when we say we have our shit together, what does that mean? You know, in this society, it means what? Go to school, get a good job, get a good house with a good mortgage. Is that it? Is that it? No, it's not it. And it's not what has to be your life if you don't want it to. And if you don't know what you want right now, that's okay. Not knowing is okay. Not knowing is wonderful, really, because you don't know what's coming next, you know what I mean? Like when some doors close, they're meant to be closed and others doors open, you know, from that. There's a beginning from an ending every single time, every single time. It's beautiful, really. But I've noticed, because I used to do this too, where you worry. For example, in high school, year 11, 12, we're starting to get pressured of what school we want to go to. You know, what do we want to do for the rest of our lives? Meanwhile, we're still having to ask permission to go to the bathroom. And we start worrying because we're like, holy shit, I don't know what I want to do. One thing for the rest of my life? Like, how can you choose something like that? How can you expect 16, 17, 18 year olds depending if you have an early birthday. Yeah, I was about 17 when I graduated. But expecting to know what we want to do for the rest of our lives is just completely ludicrous, personally, to me, because we're changing in every single moment. You know, when you ask that question of who am I, like, you are changing that next second. It's, uh, it's, it's a beautiful journey of unfolding and growing and learning and experiencing. And during that process, sometimes we don't know what the fuck is going on. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know who we're going to meet, who we're going to, you know what I mean? There's situations and opportunities that arise. And you know those ones where you think, holy crap, I never thought this could come from this or this would just show up all of a sudden. You know, it's really cool. And you have to be open to it. Don't worry. Worrying only brings more worrying. Remember that we are all vibration. As much as we are all separate energies, we are all in this together, one big energy. So. When it comes down to vibrations, what we are projecting is what we're attracting. Law of attraction is not a joke, guys. If you want to believe it or not, it is happening every single day. And you can utilize that. And you can mold and create your own reality. And you can do that even though you don't really know how you're going to get to where you want to go. <laughs> not a rapper. But yeah, because you know I've just been going through some stuff um, emotionally right now. And I have to remind myself to allow myself to go through the motions, you know, to allow myself to experience that raw emotion, um, no matter what it may be, you know? Oh no, no. Happy tears. Yes, happy tears, because life is amazing. And, you know, every single thing happens for a reason when you put your faith in that. You know, when you believe to the core of your being that everything will be okay, you will be taken care of, you will be given an abundance of what you need, what you desire, you know, what you truly want out of life, and you're sincere, and you have that intention, you can get anything you want, you guys. Anything you want. You don't have to worry about knowing how you're going to get there. You just have to know that you're going to get there. You have to envision yourself in that space where, you know, this is going to differ for everyone because we all have different desires, different everything. So let's try to get an example here. Me. Yes. So 
My main focus lately has been Hawaii because I just, I miss it so much. And a good friend of mine was like, hey, well, why don't you go to Cancun? The fruit's good and it's a lot cheaper. And it's like, I could save a little bit of money, but Hawaii has such a place in my heart. It's like, it's crazy. I love it. I love it so much. And I just really want to go back. It's that feeling, you know? I think I'm a little emotional right now just because I just did some yoga and some meditating and it... And then I decided to film right after I just finished filming a little bit of my yoga. So I'm just kind of like... <laughs> okay, so I'm not worried about oh my god, am I gonna have enough money? Oh my god, am I gonna this and that? No, like I have completely cut worrying out of my life. And if it even arises, like, no, I let, I stomp on that shit because I'm not about that. Like, it's so clear to me and everything makes so much sense of how literally everything we put out there, we get back. And there have been a lot of things going on in my life lately that really make me question, you know, a lot of things. And, and I have to remember, like, fuck, I'm only 20 years old. You know what I mean? Like, I have so much to learn and so much to grow from. And shit, do I have a lot to learn right now? Um... Yeah, so, so yeah, I've had that intention every single day and I had that on my inspiration board and I just envisioned myself in that atmosphere and I feel the gratitude that I would feel if I was there. So that's what I'm trying to get across is you have to feel thankful. You have to feel that gratitude to the core of your being of whatever it may be that you desire, whether it's traveling or, you know, saving up for a house, being able to support your, pa your family because, you, you know, things may feel a little bit tight right now. Do not tell yourself that you are in a tight situation, you are tight with money, you are this and that. No, you are abundant. You are given everything that you need in life and you will be if you believe that. So start believing that and you will seriously see the things you start attracting. It's crazy. Like life to me anymore isn't this thing where I worry, oh my God, am I actually gonna have my shit together by like 25 or am I gonna be that odd one out who's not really known what the fuck is going on all over the place? Like no, just be, when I'm 25, I'm gonna be YouTubing and I'm gonna be traveling around the world teaching yoga and just, you know what I mean? Like doing my thing. That's my picture. That's my reality that I wanna create. You know what I mean? And that does not go hand in hand with what a lot of people would call successful or has their shit together or, you know what I mean? Like, fuck what everyone else says. What do you want to do? Okay, what do you want to do? It all comes down to that. Don't worry about how you're going to get there. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about connections. Don't worry about anything. Have faith and everything will be given to you. Seriously, guys, all you have to do is cloak yourself with gratitude and everything you desire will be given unto you. You know what I mean? I mean, if you're thinking, oh, I want to let, like, you know, hurt people, but if you're thinking like, oh, I want to hurt people and shit like that, then if negativity, like, you will attract negativity, but not in the ways that you think. Trust me, it will not be pleasant. Don't do that. We need more love on this planet. More love, not less. And we have to remember to give ourselves love and patience in those times where we get a little bit too caught up in life and we get a little bit too stressed over things that really don't matter that much when it comes down to it. Yeah, so that was just my little piece for today. It is absolutely beautiful right now. I just, oh my god, this is so nice. I, I don't know. I'm just dealing with some stuff emotionally, like I said, so I just really wanted to take some me time and come meditate and do some yoga and really just center myself because I don't like even feeling a pinnacle of that feeling of the emotional body is trying to really like consume. I don't like that. Um, so that, yeah, so yeah, I just came out here, a big ass smoothie. It's actually probably getting pretty warm. I should drink it. Oh Jesus, I put that on tight. Farm the fuck up. Bang, bang, bang. It's so beautiful out right now. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna go home and take my puppy out for a walk because I really miss her. And I really enjoyed this. This is so beautiful. I might just lay here a, a while longer. And yeah, so I just wanted to say hi 
and don't worry about not knowing. It's okay. We're young. Even if you're like 50 years old and watching this, that's young as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, you're on level 50. That's pretty rad. But just because you're older doesn't mean anything less than, you know? You want to do shit? Get it done. Get it done with faith. Okay? Get it the fuck done with- get shit done with faith.